Nah, man, R. Kelly and them, man, that nigga, he, he a dumb nigga that couldn't read. That man is, that, he, man is taking a foul and a scapegoat. Man, I don't never believe the public when they give us a black person that they hanging. I don't never believe that shit, homie. It's always some bullshit when it's a nigga. Let me tell it. What it do, man? It's your boy 100, and we back in this. We back in this, man, and we got Charleston White again. Y'all know I be tapping in on my dog, Charleston. He ain't talking about Nipsey this time, so we got some smoke by Nipsey. He ain't talking about Nipsey this time. He's talking about R. Kelly. He, talk, he really talking about the industry and the whole situation with, like, I don't understand. It's, it's been a lot of age situations with people who's underage and certain people that get overlooked and other people that kind of... You know what I'm saying? So he got a certain opinion about it. You know, he on you know he ain't filtering nothing. You know he direct with his. So let's let's see how you feel about the matter. R. Kelly has recently been convicted of a, quite a few crimes recently. Yeah, no, 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 no. Now you said quite a few crimes. Uh if you notice none of those crimes is for messing with a child. He got some Rico some man acts, some mafia kind of shit. R. Kelly? Man, you better go look at it. I believe uh, he was sexual exploitation of a minor, bribery, racketeering, and sex trafficking. Sexual bribery of a minor? Sexual exploitation of a child. Oh, and he was convicted of that? I believe so, I seen yes. I seen RICO charges when I saw the convictions. Now, I see, I see in some other states he's being charged for sexual exploitation of a minor. Okay, maybe I got it wrong. Yeah, come on. Cause all all the women came forward with grown women. Okay, I, I could have it wrong. Yeah, but 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 he does have two other states that he's going to go be charged for sexual exploitation of a minor. But in his most recent convictions, I think it was more like RICO charges. So if you notice what the federal government been doing with these celebrities, rappers, they've been hitting these niggas with RICO charges. Same with the five arrests in Chicago. They've been getting them with RICO charges. It's easier to convict by conspiracy. That RICO is something else, man. That RICO is like, it, it, it damn near gives them any crime. All of a sudden is just amplified and they can just do, you know, damn near whatever they want, man. But what'd you think when you seen him get convicted? Oh, uh, man, my first thought was why now? Oh. Uh, Man, there's no way in America, and, and 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 that's how I feel too, bro. Like, why now, bro? Like, we've been talking about this for decades. For decades, people have been talking about him and underage women, underage girls. And also, I wanna, I wanna put y'all onto some knowledge. A person that likes teenagers, that's not a pedophile. A pedophile is someone who's attracted to kids who are prepubescent, before puberty. That's a pedophile. Someone who's attracted to teenage children is and a feeble file. It sounds weird. Pedophiles, is, it rolls off better. But in a feeble file, is somebody who's attracted to teenagers. Just because somebody likes underage people doesn't mean they're a pedophile. There's different, there's, there's tiers to that. Pedophile, a feeble file. So it's all illegal out the gate. But they've been talking about R. Kelly, but since Chappelle's show, before Chappelle's show, when the sex tape dropped, like, even around the sex tape, even after it, he didn't get convicted of that, they still knew it was him and they still knew what was going on. They so selective with it. Like, and then there's other celebrities that have been doing the same thing. How y'all so picky and choosy with this, bro? There's no way in America, man, for, uh, man, niggas can barely sell dope. There's no way in America, homie, that a nigga can get away with raping children for 20, 30 years and it's not facilitated for him. I'm saying, bro. And everybody knew. So, uh, man, they ain't do Harvey Weinstein like this. Uh, uh, man, what's well, he the- He got convicted, right? Man, they ain't did him like how they done R. Kelly and, 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 and Bill Cosby. They, what do you mean by they didn't? Can you touch on that a little bit? Uh, well, man, the, 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 the media crucifixion. Oh uh, man, the man, when you look at Harvey, man, he ain't it, man. His case is way worse than than Bill's now, but his, his case wasn't sprued through the media. 
all the information that they got from the, the Epstein guy. Man, that shit ain't been let out. Man, this man got names and, and, and air flight manifestos of, of kings and, and politicians. So, uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. All them people that went to the little island with dude, the little underage massage women ring, whatever, all them people that went, politicians, celebrities, all kind of people. They made Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein rich from them going out there. How you think he got an island, bro? Where he work at? Don't nobody even know where his money came from. Nobody. Y'all paying him. That's where the money coming from. So all the people that was paying, all the folks that was pulling up and doing their dirt, them records are somewhere, but they not looking for them records. Hey, man, it's, 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 hey, it's a lot going on out here, bro. No, nah, man, R. Kelly Neal, man, that nigga, he, he a dumb nigga that couldn't read. That man is, that, he man is taking the fall and the scapegoat. Man, I don't never believe the public when they give us a black person that they hanging. I don't never believe that shit, homie. It's always some bullshit when it's a nigga. Let me tell it. That goes along with what I was saying. A lot of people believe that his conviction wasn't fair. Uh, Bill Cosby wasn't fair. It was overturned. Bill Cosby did get it overturned on a technicality, yes. I think R. Kelly may get overturned. And then he's willing to tell something. So he knows of some more people that's been fucking with kids. I seen the headline. Right after he got... I don't even know the particulars of why Bill Cosby got his case overturned. It seems like throughout the whole trial and the conviction, and even when he was in the prison, it seemed like the whole time he was saying, hey, I didn't do this. We Everybody came together. We would drink. We would do drugs. And we would do our thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it with them. We doing it. You know what I'm saying? They asking for this. They asking for that. I'm giving them what they I'm giving them what they asking for. That's what that's what it seemed like his defense was the whole time. You know, I don't know the particulars, man. It's a lot of conspiracy, like, oh, he was finna buy this and he was finna do that. So they had to they had to produce these victims and you know what I'm saying? I don't who knows. All I know is if he went if he went to prison for this, went to jail for this, and then got out, obviously something wasn't correct. But I don't know. Who knows? Convicted. There was a headline that said that he knows more people and he is going to be putting the names out there. I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but it's probably for a deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I got arrested for something, yeah, I'd be ready to make a deal. Yeah, yeah, I'd be ready to tell something I know. How do you feel about YouTube taking his music? Well, YouTube took his, they took the money from the nigga, right? That's his YouTube channel. But on the other side, his record sales went up like a mother. Oh, I'm sorry, went up like a motherfucker. On the other side, where the industry get it, the white executives, the Jewish people. Yeah, yeah, now the nigga can't make no money off of it. We ain't gonna let this nigga make no money off of it. But we gonna make money off that nigga's ass. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how he's broke. I seen a headline also that he was like in the hole, like $2 million. Oh, uh, man, man, this the man. This guy had man. to have made $100 million. Hey, I seen a, another com, a, another conspiracy, bro. Another conspiracy theory. But they was like, once a rapper get hot, they either go to jail, die. They either go to they either go to jail or die. But they die a lot because when they die, they record sales shoot through the roof, and the label still getting paid for that. The label getting paid for that. So it's like, are you worth more alive or dead? This is just a theory I seen online. I don't know. Are they killing? Are they killing the entertainers on purpose to get more money? Specifically, the rappers. I don't know. A million dollars in this. Oh, uh, the the man can't read or write, brother. We don't see we don't see Mike Tyson fuck off two hundred million. We done seen uh, MC Hammer fuck out 500 million. We done seen all of our richest celebrities, homie, Red Fox. We done seen all of our greats fuck off hundreds and 500 millions of dollars. So it's, 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 it's not surprising. It's not surprising. DMX, man had 50 something thousand dollars, died broke. Died broke. So it, it, it's not surprising. Do you think he'll be convicted in the other trials when they come up? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think they go. I think they go run him through the meat cleaver. I think he will be erased. I think he will be ostracized. Uh, he'll just be a folk hero. They let it. They let it go for so long. They let it happen for so long. And all of a sudden now, now we're going to burn him down now. Y'all been knowing. Y'all been knowing. Y'all been knowing what was going on, bro. Like, 
Yeah, he'll just be a folk hero amongst po people. Gee, wow. I did see a lot of people saying that they're they're not listening to R. Kelly anymore, which, as you talked about earlier, kind of contradicts with his music sales going up five hundred percent though. Yeah. Oh uh, well, ain't ain't they? Well, they'll stop listening to R. Kelly. Uh, but way white America done black people. Uh. Nobody's really been appalled by that. We've been raped like a motherfucker in this country. Uh, we still suffer from the traumatic rape of how the white man used to do us. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no, nah, man, people full of shit. Yeah, that's why I'm glad I got away with some of the things I done got away with in life. Uh, yeah, no, nah, man, people full of shit. Elvis Presley fuck babies. Uh, man, we can go all the way down the line, man. Yeah, Elvis Presley fucked this 15 year old, whatever that little girl name. Well, he had over, she was 14, 15. Man, come on, now they love the shit out of Elvis Presley. He married over, she was 15. That was the talk of it. Uh, Jay Z, uh, was fucking Foxy Brown. Yeah, Jay Z was fucking Foxy Brown. Uh, in the movie, in the movie Belly. In the movie Belly. DMX getting his dick sucked by the 15 year old girl. When, when the, when the, when, when his wife called a girl, she said, nah, we ain't fucked yet. I just be sucking his dick. I saw that part of the movie and was like, ain't nobody, don't know, this shit's cool to just be in the movie? Don't nobody care about this? Nobody cares about this, bro? So that's common, nigga. Yeah, get, yeah, that's common. They just trying to act like it ain't. But yeah, that's been common, nigga, since the, uh, a John, John Wayne Western day. I remember Belly. You know, I've heard the rumors about Elvis, or the facts about Elvis, I should say. Let me make that clear. Russell Simmons, uh, yeah. Kamora Lee, uh, say, man, we can go on and on. Uh, uh, New Edition made a song about how they was fucking, they was underage fucking the grown women in the industry. So, uh, man, it's, 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 it happens more or less than, than we like to admit it, you know? Uh, it, it, it happens more or less than we like to admit. Yeah, man, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of double standards. It's a lot of cover-ups going on. It's a lot of weirdness going on, especially in the industry, bro. I ain't even gonna say especially in the industry. It's out in the world, too. Because you could think back when you was in high school and the girls was talking to the dudes they used to pull up to the school in cars, like adults. I had homegirls that was like 15, 16, and they'd be talking to a dude. I'd be like, he how old? Why? They just be lost souls out here, bro. No dads. But uh yeah, man. Hopefully, um, but yeah, man, there's some weirdness going on out here, man. Just try to avoid what you can avoid, man. Try to protect yours and protect yourself. Cause there's some weirdness going on out here in this world, man. But anyway, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Um, we done surpassed my goal of 300 subscribers. Now we on the way to 400. It seems like I'm gonna get to 400 faster than I got to 300. Cause we already at the 320. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Appreciate all y'all. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Turn up nobody's on for your boy. You know what I'm saying? So you can, hey, if you wanted the first to comment, one of the first to view it, one of the first to give me that thumbs up. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. And I'll see y'all in the next one.